Happy New Year! As we look to 2013, it's going to be a very happy time for so many people. Jan used to say that happiness is holy. So let's think of 2013 as a happy holy year. As we move into January, we're going to see a change in the energy. And it's going to accelerate through the spring and into the early summer when it's going to come forth, I would say, in full fashion as far as a new renaissance is concerned. Back in January of this year, uh, I had a dream. And in the dream, I was told that a new renaissance was coming. And I woke up and I thought, that's neat. That's a good idea. But didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. And then in a dream, Jan, my wife, came to me from the other side and said, there's going to be many changes in all of the worlds and there will be a new renaissance. And I began to think there's something to this after all and I did some research and found that the Middle Ages were considered the the lack of creativity for so many years. But that beginning in 1300, actually 1302, a new renaissance took over this world, this planet. And out of this new creativity came changes in literature, architecture, music, sculpture, and it became a new world, really, from the standpoint of the arts. And uh, it looks like we're about to have another one, very similar to that. Think about it this way. Sometime in the next few months, we're going to see new uh, breakthroughs in literature. The churches are going to have new ways, new types of architecture. The opera, the symphonies, the music is going to be different. We're going to go through a process that many people have been predicting for quite some time but didn't know when it was going to be. It's also interesting that the real breakthrough, so to speak again, was in 1302. 1302 is a, is a number six. 2013 is also a number six. And if we go to Genesis and look at the sixth day, what do we have? The creation in the image of God, of male, female, with dominion, and the new creative impulse that took over the physical world. So here we go again. A new renaissance, a new time. And it's going to be a delicious, and I say delicious because it's going to taste good mentally and emotionally. It's going to feel good. One thing that uh, came to me in what Jan and I call flow-throughs, sometimes you're driving a car or showering, and a flow-through of thoughts will come into your mind. And recently, one came into my mind that said, uh, we came into this being, into individualization, into physical form, all of us, with an imprint of creativity. We didn't know what it was, but it's there. It's etched in the deeper recesses of consciousness. And I believe that as we move into 2013, it's going to come to the surface, and we're going to realize more of our own creativity. When I was about eight years old, I told my mother, I said, uh, Mother, I'm going to write a book. And she said, she said, go for it. That sounds like a good idea. Well, it took me 40 years to, to, to write the book. I feel now that those creative impulses, those imprints that are within our consciousness are going to be coming out much sooner. Children are going to be doing art as never before. Children are going to be seeing things in their minds and in their hearts of a creative nature that they had not known before. And my mother grew up on a farm and picked cotton when she was a small a child. And she told me one time, she said, you know what I wanted to do all my life? And from the time that she was a young woman, and I said, what? And she said, I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to paint pictures. And uh, I said, well, it's not too late now. When she was 84, she painted her first picture. And then another one, and another one. She did 14 over a period of two years and had media, rec media recognition 
for some beautiful, beautiful works of art. So what I'm looking at now is that we're not going to take so long. It's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be an impulse that's going to come out very soon. I should mention that on December the 31st, noon Greenwich time, will be the 27th World Healing Day event with people from all the countries around the world participating. Uh, 27 years, that's a nine, and a nine is usually looked at as a completion time. So perhaps we can have more of the saturation of that energy of peace and love and joy radiate from each one of us to go around this world to make sure that 2013 is a year of peace. So again, Happy New Year. God bless us all.